but this is Tom with TK Designs. Today I'm going to show you the process that I would use to implement uh, V-Carve inlay by designing the inlay using artificial intelligence. Specifically I'm going to use uh, the designer aspect of the free Copilot app in the Microsoft Edge browser. So follow along if you'd like to learn this process. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Microsoft Edge browser and we're going to type in uh, HTTPS copilot.microsoft.com. That's going to bring you to the Copilot AI. And then over on the right hand side, we're going to click on Designer. Uh, I should point out that you do need to be logged into your Microsoft account in order to use this. So next, what we'll do is we'll go down and we will give our parameters for the inlay we want to make. Uh, today I'm going to try making an ocean scene that has a ship, a whale, maybe some birds, and a sunrise or a sunset. So I'm going to tell it I want to create a scalable vector graphic, if I can spell. using the following elements old ship whale sunset seagulls my typing is atrocious now we're also going to tell this to use simple lines so that we can create a good vector Hit enter and the AI is going to take a look at us and start generating a picture for us. All right. So now, as you see, we have a bunch of different options that we can use. And I kind of like this one. So we're going to take that graphic. And down here, I'm going to click down in the lower right hand corner and change the from square to a landscape image and let it recreate and I kind of like the way that looks might be a little bit busy for an inlay but we can work with that at a later point so now we're going to go ahead and download this image we'll save it as whaleship.png and now we'll switch over to vcarve desktop and we're going to import the bitmap change this to downloads and grab our newly created graphic Try to make it as 
close to the size of what we want. Then we're going to do a bitmap trace. Change it to, or keep it at black and white. And then we can do a preview. That looks a little bit on the busy side, so. Let's see if we can clean that up a little bit. That looks about good. And from there, we can go ahead and apply it. And there you have it, a vector graphic. So let me know in the comments what you think. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching.